This was the news that I didn't expect to come out today. Journey through the desert of the abyss. We got more tri brigade support, the way it looks, and we got an entire new archetype for the journey of Albaz and Ecclesia, actually. So this is actually pretty cool. They're still running away from Dogmatica forces. So now, what are... These look so weird. These look like Mega Man characters if they ever existed. Okay, An interesting art design. I will say that. All right, so Spriggan's Rocky. Level four fire machine monster. Oh, 800 defense, can't bring it back. If this card is no more special summon, you can target one Spriggan's or vast desert gold gondola in your graveyard, except for Spriggan's Rocky and add it to your hands. We're getting recurability right off the bat. All right, well, that, we normally know that's good. If this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can target a Spriggan Exceed monster you control. Attach this card to it as material. We get an auto attacher through its own effect and recurability? That seems pretty good. Spriggan's Peed, 0, 2000. Oh. You contribute this card, target one Spriggan's monster in your graveyard, except for itself. It's about to summon it, so it brings other, once again, it brings other stuff back. If this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can target a Spriggan's Exceeds monster you control and attach it to it as material. Okay, so, once again, I mean, these attach effects are once per turns, but that seems overly good. Uh, unless, like, our Xyz monster is poo-poo. Um, okay. Spriggan's Banger? <laughs> oh, boy, this better be a banger. If this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can target one Spriggan's Xyz monster you control. Attach this card to it as material. Okay. You can banish this, both this card and one Spriggan monster from your graveyard to add one Spriggan's card from your deck to your hand. So our Rhoda is on a banish from the graveyard. Uh, I mean, that's not horrible, but okay. Uh, what do we got next? So, this is going to probably be our big boss monster. I assume that this is our Exceed. And then, I honestly, why does she feel like a Cosmo monster in this art, by the way? Alright, this, this better be the greatest love story in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history, or I'm going to be sad. Spriggan's Captain Sargus. Level 8 Fire Machine, 1528. So, you can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. Alright. If this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can target Spriggan's Exceed Monster and attach this card to his material. During your opponent's turn quick effect, you can detach one Exceed's material from a monster you control, target a face-up card in the field, and destroy it. So we are... that seems like that should be the Exceed Monster's effect. All Spriggan Exceed's monsters on the field gain this card effect while it has material. So we get a global 500 boost on top of things. Spriggan's Ship Explorer. Two level eight monsters to make this. Okay, I mean, it's plus. So choose a monster zone or spell and trap card on your opponent's field. Detach any number of monsters from this card. And if you do destroy all cards, your opponent controls up to the number of materials detached in that chosen column, or monster zones and or spell and trap cards to the top, to the bottom, or adjacent to that zone. Okay, so it literally bombs and blows up the column. During your opponent's main or battle phase, you can banish this card until the end phase. And that's a quick, so it literally gets the ability to warp itself out? Okay, okay, sure. Uh, Okay, this is a searcher, actually. Spriggan's Watch. That's actually kind of cool. So, Spriggan's Watch. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. So you can add one Vast Desert Gold Gondola from your deck to your hand. If you control Vast Desert Gold Gondola in your field zone, you can apply this effect instead. Add a Spriggan's Monster from your deck and send a Spriggan's Monster from your deck to your graveyard. So if we set up what appears to be the field spell here, we get additional searches here. So, okay. And then this will be our desert. I swear this is a Mega Man theme. I swear it. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. H hello? Tri, Tri Brigade? Is that you? Albaz and Ecclesi Ecclesia. <laughs> Looking adorable now. Alright. 
this whole theme is, this is cool. Vast Desert Gold Gundala. Spring and Xyz monsters you control gain 1,000 attack, so these things get beefy. If you do not control a Sprig and Xyz monster, you can discard one Sprig and discard to special summon one Sprig and Xyz monster from your extra deck. What? Okay. If a face up Xyz monster monsters you control leaves the field by a card effect, you can target one monster your opponent controls that cannot attack for the rest of this turn. I get to auto discard special and Xyz monster. That's really good. Spriggan's Call. Target one Sprigus or Spriggins or Fallen Abaz in your graveyard, special summon it. During either player's turn, except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card in one fusion monster from your graveyard and target a Spriggins Xyz monster you control. Attach one fusion monster that lists Fallen Abaz as fusion material from your extra deck to the target as material. Hmm. Hmm. Spriggins Blast. Alright, if you control a Spriggan's monster, choose one main monster zone on your opponent's field. Is there a face-up monster in that zone? It cannot attack, and it's effects negated until the end of this turn. Now, there's no monsters in that zone. It cannot be used for this this turn. If you control a fusion monster that lists Fallen of Albaz as fusion material, you get to blink two columns. Hmm. Ojama support? Dot, dot, dot. Alright, so these are our new Tri-Brigade cards. <laughs> uh, there's th this art has been joked about by everybody all day. This is uh, hilarious. <laughs> They're all tied up, and then our new, yeah, our, our new antagonist. We're gonna call them for Tri Brigade. Tri Brigade rendezvous, basically. So, target any number of linked beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monsters you control. They gain seven hundred attack. Till the end of the turn. If a linked beast or beast warrior or wing beast monster you control be destroyed by a ballot card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So we get a self replacement effect. Tri Brigade Kit. Oh boy, level 2 Fire Beast Warrior. You can banish any number of beast, beast warrior, wing beast in your graveyard to swap some of one beast, beast warrior, wing beast monster with the same link rating up to the number used. I'll take that. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one Tri Brigade monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for Kit. You know what that means. We're going to get to speed up the process. Dumping. That's very good. I like that. All right, so now Fallen of Albaz merges with some support here. I also, is this a new Dogmatica that is stepping up to take Ecclesia's place? Huh, maybe in terms of lore. Uh, we'll be getting some new Dogmaticas here. Uh, as you could see, um, some of these were starting to raise up during the previous uh, arc. So, Splend the Steel Express Dragon. So it's Fallen of Albaz plus one effect monster special summoned this turn. So during your main phase, you can move this card to another monster zone on your field, and then you can destroy all face of monsters in this card's current column. So, that's not bad. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can take one Sprigus monster or Fallen Albas from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. We're now officially three sets deep for Albas support. Between Titanclad, uh, the new one that comes out for, what was it, uh, the Tri-Brigade support, and then we are now have the Splend, the Steel Express. Albas is finally getting some good support in terms of being generic. And then we got Dogmatica Genesis. So we can target, oh, this, okay, it's a normal trap card. So you can target one Banished Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link Monster, and one Effect Monster your opponent controls. That is the same card type, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link. Return the Banished Monster into the extra deck, and if you do, negate the effects of the opponent's monster. All right, so overall, this new support seems really cool like the door is going so many places in terms of design here and like i said i, I f this art this is absolutely hilarious all these mega man characters just staring at you this is probably one of the coolest things i've seen in terms of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. outside of that if if this isn't the ship if ecclesia and albaz is not the ship for Yu-Gi-Oh, i don't know there, there's something sad coming there has to be all right world child has taught me that all right. So guys, what do you think about the new cards? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'm really liking where this is going. This is some pretty interesting stuff. And hopefully 
they give us some more decent goodies for this. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day, and uh, stay classy out there, even though the world's in a crappy place. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanco 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcogames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.